This is a high-level overview of the Horizon World User Performance Dashboard. The purpose of this dashboard is to provide rich insight into users who are having performance issues throughout a Horizon environment. And how this typically works is we already know which KPIs that traditionally contribute to user performance issues or user performance bottlenecks. Uh, these performance KPIs include CPU performance, such as you know how long does it take for CPU cycles to be scheduled with the hypervisor. We look at CPU capacity. We look at disk latency and overall available memory as well as memory contention. So these are, from an infrastructure perspective, the primary KPIs that impact performance. On the protocol side of things, from the network side of the house, we also look at latency. So we look at the round trip latency of how long a user's client takes to send commands back and forth or send pixels back and forth between the client and the desktop in the data center. And we also look at packet loss. So packet loss is also a great indication that a user is having protocol or network performance issues around their BDI session. Now, what we've introduced to this management pack is what we call a new user performance KPI. And in this KPI, we, we actually aggregate these individual KPIs into a single number. So if any of these particular KPIs or a combination of these KPIs are impacting the users, will actually impact the score and lower their score from perfect being 100 down to a lower number depending on how severe the performance impact is on the user. Additionally, as we start to count or aggregate the user performance issues to certain pods or certain pools, we have a new KPI on the pods and pools where we keep track of how many pools have these issues so that you can look at from an overall quality of service perspective, how many farms are having issues, how many pools are having issues, and have a record count of them historically speaking. Um, all of these widgets in the Horizon World Performance Stats are, you're able to double click on them and see various trends to see if these numbers are going up or down over time. Ideally, the number is zero, but if you're starting to see large numbers of pools or farms with issues, you'll be able to see them very directly in this, this first level widget. We also aggregate the user performance issues all the way up to what we call the Horizon World object. And so the Horizon World object really looks across every single pod, pool, and user in, in the environment. And as the score, the health or performance of your Horizon environment goes down, we actually capture that in the data center KPI metric, which looks at the, the vSphere side of things, as well as the protocol, uh, protocol performance KPI metrics, which looks at more the network side of things. So you really have two great metrics that allows you to trend performance across the entire Horizon world over time and do it both by data center performance and network performance. So looking at the performance from more of a Horizon user perspective, we're also keeping track of the number of app sessions, the number of VDI sessions uh, that are having performance issues. So you can actually count them and have a record of them. Uh, but we also break it down per type. So if you have a large number of sessions with high CPU or high disk latency or low memory, we now have an active count. So you can see if these numbers are trending higher or lower over time. So as you're making performance improvements, let's say architecture or infrastructure changes to try to adjust or improve the overall SLA in your environment, you'll be able to have this historical record to see if these improvements are making a positive changes. So to find users who are having performance issues, simply go to the user performance KPI widget and you can actually see a distribution breakdown of all of the performance categories or users who are having negative performance issues throughout the environment. Uh, so in this particular widget, blue means really good score, so basically perfect. Um, and as their performance score degrades over time or gets lower, uh, we have different colors or different distribution range that indicate the level of performance impact. So if you want to quickly find someone who's in the red performance category, you can click on that particular distribution. You can see who the user is. You can see their performance score. There are additional metrics. Uh, if you need to look at different distributions, maybe more people are being impacted in, let's say, the orange level score of distribution. Again, simply click on that and you can see who these users are. Now, it's also noteworthy that if you need to, you can actually expand any of these distribution widgets to make it larger so you can see more information. So if you look in this widget, you see who the users are, what their score is, what their current latency is, um, do they have any packet loss, what, what was their worst latency throughout the environment, just to get a quick snapshot of some of the connectivity issues they might be having with their Horizon session. 
Now, to follow the overall flow of the dashboard, once you've found a user that you would like to perform further analysis on, simply just click on the, the space next to the user's name. And what will happen is we will update the object relationship widget. And this will give you a breakdown of the user itself, as well as all of their active sessions that they have in the environment. Uh, and as you can tell, this particular user being me, I have, I don't know, it looks like I have about five or six sessions currently active. And I did that intentionally, right? So I can actually show you the, the overall flow and, and how we're collecting data and the individual session information um, within uh, the Horizon Management Pack. So with this, right, so we're actually looking at across all your sessions. We can see your application sessions, RDS sessions, or your individual VDI sessions. So in this environment, I actually have four different VDI sessions, and two of them are in a local Dallas region. The other two are geographically distributed in Singapore and Amsterdam. So some of those all have really good connectivity. Some all have really bad connectivity. Now, if we look here, we can already see which session is having a performance issue. Now, notice I'm actually on the user object itself. And on the user object, me as a user, I actually have a CPU score. So what we've done in this management packet, again, I told you we're capturing KPIs about your sessions and relating it to the user. Well, what we're doing is we're actually storing them on you as a user historically. So as you consume virtual desktops or application sessions, we actually have a historical record on you as a user, what your performance score is. So I can actually double click on my CPU utilization. Again, this is me as a user, and I can go back in time to see what my uh, CPU performance was for the last seven days, the last 30 days. And as long as I have an active session, my CPU utilization score will update. So you'll actually see that in the past I had a peak of about 75% in one of my desktop sessions. And now I actually have a historical record of that session if I had any CPU performance issues. We also look at, again, ready time. We look at um, IO wave. We look at CPU queue and co-stop. Again, these are other performance indicators that something could be going on from a hypervisor or OS level perspective and capturing those historically. Now, ideally, what you would do from a troubleshooting perspective is you would look at the user, you would see which KPI category is having a problem, and we would color code them for you automatically. But we also show you the object alert. So we do this in a couple ways. So in this object alert widget, you can alert, look at alerts in a couple different ways. So we can look at it by definition. So we can quickly see, well, which alerts impact you the most. So here you see that over time, I've had about 49 alerts related to disk latency. I've had about 19 alerts related to packet loss. And I can kind of just go through the entire list to see how many alerts have I had over time and what are they. We can also do it by criticality. So if you just want to look at, well, what are the most critical alerts? What are warning? Maybe you just want to filter out some of the noise. Again, you can see um, what are the most critical alerts. And you can see which ones are currently active. And now you actually have a historical record of the alerts on you as a user that happen throughout your Horizon sessions in this particular environment. Uh, and we can also do it on object types. So if we want to say, okay, well, maybe I'm a user and I can connect to multiple different types of sessions, whether they're VDI or application sessions, I actually have a historical record that, hey, most of my alerts are coming from my VDI sessions. And I have a record of what those alerts are. Now let's say we want to do additional analysis on user performance for this particular user. I can go to the user object relationship widget. I can mouse over me as a user object and click on details. And what this will do is actually show you the new Horizon user summary page. So what you'll notice throughout uh, the various dashboards and the various demonstrations you'll see is that per Horizon object, we actually have a nice summary page now. So if I'm looking at a user, I'll see if they're currently connected, I'll see all of their available sessions. I'll see which ones are connected, which ones are disconnected. And I'll give pretty much an overall property breakdown of those sessions. So which VM did I get? What was the VM's name? What client am I currently running? What gateway did I come in on? What was its address? What's the current agent version? And again, just a complete breakdown of that individual session. Now, on the user object level itself, I also have, again, the protocol breakdown. So I see the worst frame rate, I see my worst latency, my worst packet loss um, that occurred in the environment. And again, these are all historical. I can go back and look at these in time and see what was the peak that I observed. Um, and here you can see that, you know, November 12th, 125, I had um, a really high packet loss for a period of time. Uh, but it's also done by 
Uh, vCenter KPIs as well. So again, you can see what was my peak CPU utilization um, for the you know past 30 days. Um, what was my what's my current CPU utilization? And again, we're just capturing all those CPU performance KPIs on the user itself, as well as memory and storage KPIs. Now, if you would like to see all of the available metrics in this new user data model, uh, you can actually go to the All Metrics tab. You can expand metrics. And you can actually see how the data is structured um, in the new management pack moving forward. So what we've done is we've actually taken metrics such as the VDI desktop performance, um, so all of your CPU-related performance counters in terms of utilization, ready time, co-stop, IO weight, uh, and we also look at WAR. So, so again, you might have multiple VDI sessions, and we look across all of them to see which one was performing the worst and now you actually have a historical record. So this is just a quick way to go back, analyze a user and see if they had CPU performance issues or maybe they had disk performance read or write issues in the past and see how high that latency was. Again, we do this on memory and other KPIs, but we also do this for protocols. So on the user object, we actually now have a historical record of their latency. We have a historical record of their packet loss. You can actually go back in time to see when was their packet loss? Was their latency um, last week, for example. And you could do that, you could see if it occurred, and now we've captured that on the user object moving forward. So if you need to do more performance analysis on individual users, you have the ability to do so. We also have more information around the applications, so which RDS applications are you consuming? Here you can see I'm using Firefox, Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer. You can see how much the CPU, memory, and, and disk consumption was on those particular um, metrics. So quickly going back to the dashboard, I did want to show one more additional flow that you can also do. So instead of doing it from the overall user performance KPI, again, you can do it from this performance distribution widget. It also works from the individual KPI. So maybe you don't want to just see it from the user's aggregated number. Maybe you want to see which particular KPIs are impacting users the most. So how this works, if you look at this from a big picture perspective, is you see that most of the performance issues are related around latency. And the way that I tell that is, again, I'm looking across all of these KPIs and I'm looking at all of the user scores, and I can see that, yeah, there, there may be a couple people that have hot spots of latency. We might have a few people who have overall low available memory, uh, but we have basically no contention, right? We have, uh, you know, very low packet loss in, in order of, you know, less than 1%, or basically 1% of packet loss or 1% of users in the environment have packet loss, I can see who those users are, I can see who it is, and if they have an active session, we can see it. Uh, the way that I know that it's not active, it's basically gray, right? So you'll go in, you'll see that it's gray, but that's okay. You can actually still go back and see what the score was, and you can do that two ways. You could do it from here, or you can simply click on their name. So if you click on their name, again, it'll take you right back into the user summary page, and you could go back in time, look at their metrics, and if they had meaningful metrics around the protocol let's say i think it was packet loss so i can actually go back and look at you know what was the worst packet loss transmit um, and i can see when it was and how long it occurred and again that data is still there so it's not blank data it's just that you need to click into the user and actually see what their past or historic latency was or packet loss was depending on the kpi that was having the issue Now, just keep in mind, this also works across any of the KPIs, right? So again, if you want to find users who have, who continually see high CPU utilization scores, um, they should be in the appropriate distribution. So we have maybe two people that tend to pop up in the 80% range, and I think this one is in the 95 to 100 range, and again, only one person shows up. But again, if they had an active session, you could see their score. Um, you can actually see the, the previous score on the user, now we're out of the date range, so if you see it blank like this, just you know, change or expand your overall time range and you'll go back in time and, and find the data point. So it didn't look like they were connected very long, but they did have at least one data point captured for that session. So this concludes the overall demo of the Horizon World User Performance Dashboard. If there are any additional questions about this dashboard, please feel free to reach out to your Horizon SE counterpart and we will get those answers for you as soon as possible. Thank you.